and gentlemen, welcome back to ECC Season 7 Division 1 playoffs. We're in the grand final. It's Glasgow Storm versus Trinitas Esports Remakes. This is going to be one hell of a juicy game. But of course, I am Mikey and I am not alone. I'm joined by the legend that is Machtfish. Yeah, joining Mikey once again. Another grand final coming our way. Glasgow Storm who's been going here through the winner's bracket against Trinitas Esports Remix. Those teams both have met before this exchange at that time going to Glasgow Storm. So maybe Trinitas gets that revenge this time. But once again, we are your two casters, but we're not alone. We are joined by Kraolix as our analyst yet again. Yeah, I'm very excited to be here for this grand final. going to be an incredible game we've got Glasgow Storm a phenomenal team in this division one as well as Trinitas Remix who've done wonders after being knocked down to the lower bracket final they've fought their way back up to come here to the grand finals and it should be a brilliant clash between these two teams I yeah. would have to agree with that to be honest I think it's going to be incredibly juicy but do you want to talk a little bit about the game and what your prediction is sir yeah, definitely. I think that Trinitas have been so dominant right now in that lower bracket final against Knox Eastport Atlanta that they can take that momentum and just plow it right through Glasgow Storm, who of course are 1-0 up in the series uh, from the get-go, but I think that Trinitas can put the fight to them and can if they get the early equalizer for the series, then it's Free for all, and then anything can happen. But my money is on Trinitas Remix. I am. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. You know, as much as we have seen, we've seen Glasgow Storm throughout league play. You know, they lost to Knox Esports Atlanta, uh, but they did beat Trinitas Esports Remix three two, and they have beaten. You know, they've already defeated Trinitas Esports Remix four one, and they're going into this game with that one 0 advantage coming from the winners bracket. I can see Trinitas Esports Remix really taking this. Uh, what are you thinking, Kralix? Honestly, I have to back Glasgow Storm. You know, if we were starting from a nil-nil, if it was a normal series, I'd say that Trinitas definitely had a shot at this. But giving them that 1-0 lead is just so huge. It alleviates a bit of pressure off their shoulders, just allows them to play comfortably in their own style. And I think that's going to give them the edge. Yeah, I'd say... We are obviously split. Let's see who will have the correct prediction. One of us definitely will have and will take it over the other one. But remember, there's money on the line. This is for 50 euros. The winner gets 50 euros plus 16% of all Matarino donations coming through. So if you're feeling generous, go ahead and go go through to our Matarino page or to our PayPal and donate some money to us so we can keep on putting up these hopefully incredible series. So I'd say let's go with the series. We have spoken enough words already. Yeah, let's get into it. Shout out to Godolines as well for powering this season and providing this prize pool. And they also get 16% of the donations so whatever you want the winner to take you can you, you can effectively donate that as well as we are underway in the grand final of ecc division one playoffs as it comes around yet again bram with a great touch right there gets it past one swiftly's there to intercept king pace is there and the king pace there's a lot of pace in the first 15 seconds of this game already yeah, but I don't know who King Pace has to do with every bit of it as Trinitas are now trying to break out of defense. A bit of a more tentative start than it had in the last game, but Percy needs to be there for a save. Does so in the last second with a huge area across the goal and gets there with, in front of their shot. First offensive pressure going to Trinitas Esports. Yeah, already is. <laughs> It's a very juicy game as Swiftly comes off the backboard, it's sent into the middle. The tap is there, but Percy is there to get the block. Mesa is there. It's going to bounce off the backboard. No, it's not because King Pace is there with the interception once again. Sent downfield. Bram catches it. He's a bit more methodical this time, a bit slower. He hits it off the wall. He follows it up as the touch comes in and sends it downfield. It's been yeeted into that corner as Killer tries to take it, but King Pace is there. 
King Face doesn't get the second touch, but it's not needed anyway, because Percy is going to take over Slot at home and a demo to Mesa for good measure. Yeah, Killer just with an unfortunate touch there on the top of his card, didn't really want to control it that way, but the great shot from Percy, good angle to get it over the last defender, which was Mesa in this po at this point, and just gets it over him. Not saveable for Mesa in net, and that's a 1 0 lead for Glasgow Storm. 1 0 off the bat, just over a minute gone. Bram is going to go for it, it bounces off the backboard. Is anybody there to take the shot? They aren't, but Trinitas Esports remakes are a little bit slow right there as King Pace goes for it once again. How is that not in? It's been saved, but it's in eventually. A messy goal, but a goal nonetheless for Glasgow Storm. King Pace nearly be the cause of the save as he bumps Mesa into the ball. Unfortunately for Trinitas right there, it did bounce off the crossbar and the post back into mid. And Bram is there like, thank you very much. I'll just put that one in. 2-0 now for Glasgow Storms. Freeman's 30 left on the clock. And Trinitas needs some offense and they need it fast. They do indeed. Need it fast as the pass comes in to Bram. The demo is there. The dunk is there as well. And that was just absolute perfection for Glasgow Storm. Yeah, again, not an ideal touch from Killer as Percy gets incredible amounts of power onto that cross. And then it's just there for the tap in after the demo coming through from Bram, I, I believe it was. So, yeah, Glasgow Storm looking to stamp the authority on this series very early on. Of course, they are already 1-0 up courtesy of them coming from the winner's bracket so this could be for a really early 2-0 lead in the series yeah it's been very one-sided thus far as Mesa goes he does get the touch on it sent downfield the shot is off but it is a wide bounce back and Percy gets a touch on it to clear it for now comes back in though and it looks like Trinitas Esports Remix having a little bit of life a little bit more offense now Gets it past one. Swiftly is just going to try and control it. Unable to do so. It gets past another. The own goal is there. And it's all falling apart for Trinitas Esports Remix in this grand final. Boys, we have an uh, imposter among us. And I believe his name is Mesa. He just missed his touch right there. Puts it in for the own goal. He just could have let it through. Nothing would have happened. But he just wanted to make that touch. Wasn't well positioned and puts it into his own net. It's not even half the game is played. And Tr Glasgow Storm are already 4-0 up. So how are you thinking about your prediction? I'm still sticking by it. I believe <laughs> in the power of the of the killer and I believe in the power of the Swift Luozo. Swiftly, of course, needs his demos to come through now. Needs to be a bit more aggressive because that is what Glasgow Storm are doing right now very effectively. If Trinitas can answer that, I, I think they can not maybe not come back in game in this game, but they can come back later in the series. Absolutely, as Amokovic has got some more delusion in his head. Sent back downfield, it is still in the area. The shot is off, and the goal is there, and that delusion has just been reinforced a little bit by Trinitas Esports Remix right there. Yeah, and Swiftly going for the initial bump on King Pace, uh, just having him hold back at the back post for a bit too long there, leaving, I believe it was Mesa. Yeah, Mesa with a good shot into the back of the net and it's now 4-1 with two minutes left on the clock. 4-1 indeed. Is it going to be Trinitas Esports Remix making a comeback or will Glasgow Storm take it? Is it sent back down at field tapped in the middle? Bram gets a touch on it but Swiftly is there to get the fairly easy save. Percy touches it into the middle. A great touch from King Pace in the perfect position to just flip it into the net. 5-1, and that delusion is fading away as we speak. What a doink from King Pace. Unbelievable precision on it. Gets the power on it, not the height. And it just gets over both of the defenders into the back of the net. Glasgow re-establishing their four-goal lead in this first game of the series. First game of the series, but it's already falling apart. Glasgow Storm looking to be 2-0 over. It's possible. 1 minute 30 on the clock as it's sent downfield. If the touch is there, Bram sends it up, bounces it off the backboard. The dunk is there, hits the crossbar, it's sent back by Bram. King Pace goes for another touch, unable to do so, and the clear is there by Mesa. Sent downfield, swiftly gets it past one. The defense isn't there, but King Pace with a great rotation. Not much boost to work with, though. Sent back downfield, Mesa catches it. The pinch is there. The demo comes in from swiftly on Percy, and it is coming back into the area yet again. The clearance is there, the pass in place they're starting to come out but is it too little too late 
for Trinitas Esports Remix to do anything about Glasgow Storm. I believe that in this game it is very much too little too late at this point, but if they can get some momentum going right now, that would be huge for them, as there's a great shot from Swiftly using the upper 90, just puts it top bins. No chance of defending that one after the really poor effort from Bram. Or he just punts it into the side wall, tees up Swiftly, and he's going to say, thank you very much. I'm just going to put that in. 5-2, 40 seconds to go. Trinitas Esports Remix need three goals at this point. It's possible, unlikely, but possible. Sent into the middle again. Percy catches it. Sat in the corner. Now he's being slow and methodical. He gets it past one. Unable to get it past Killer, though, as Killer gets that touch to get rid of it for now. Swiftly sends it back in to the middle. Mesa is there yet again. Killer with the shot, but it's way too wide to, to mount any kind of challenge. 10 seconds to go, and they're trying to just force it past the Glasgow Storm defense. And I'm pretty sure this will be this game in the bag for Glasgow Storm. Yeah, the Storm at this point is looking like a bit of a tornado that's swooping away Trinitas 5-2 in the first game. That's quite a statement to make, and now they're 2-0 up in the series. But Kralix, what do you take away from this game? Yeah, it's kind of what I expected, if I'm being completely honest. Glasgow Storm, you know, they've, they're completely fresh. They've just been waiting for whoever comes out of that lower bracket to challenge them. Trinitas have made it, and, you know, they pop a bit of a fight. They found a couple goals towards the end of this game, but from the start, it was just complete dominance by Glasgow Storm, piling on pressure onto that Trinitas goal. Trinitas just unable to find a proper clear to break themselves out of that defensive cycle. And, you know, it just led them getting scored on again and again. I completely agree with that. I think Glasgow Storm, they just absolutely dominated. And even when Trinitas Esports Remix came back, it was only out of little counter-attacks. There wasn't necessarily a fluidity to the team that the Glasgow Storm have. They were just mechanically better. And I think that that just, you know, that just shone through right there in that moment. Yeah, but again, Trinitas has been able to come back from from the depths, I would say, not being too demotivated when that get, when that fourth goal hit, uh, even scoring two after that one. So I think this is the most important thing. I think they've written off game one right after the fourth goal got in and we're like, okay, let's just stabilize and let's take our, our chances in game number two, which will go underway right about now. Yeah, that's of course a very important thing to do as the timer counts down and Game two is underway. The scoreline is 2-0 to Glasgow Storm in the series. As Swiftly sends it downfield again. Coming coming in strong fairly quickly there. Mesa is there to catch it. It comes off the wall with it. He's going to feather his boost, but gets taken out completely. Swiftly is able to get a demo on Bram. Sent downfield again. Killer's able to intercept the clearance. But sent again. And Mesa is there. And at the moment, just stuck in the midfield. The passing plays are coming in as it's passed to King Pace, but Mesa is able to take it in the area. It bounces down fairly awkwardly, but Percy with the clearance killer, again with the great rotation, is there to get it. But he only gets a touch straight to the opposition possession. And this is looking very dangerous at the minute. 45 seconds gone, stuck in the middle once again. And it is anybody's game. It has been very back and forth already in the start of this game. Yeah, but the ball not really dangerous in front of either net as there's a shot coming through from Bram, which is wide and Killer will see to that one. But the ball most most of the time just being in the midfield, not really dangerous as there's a great, great dunk from King Praise, who just dunks completely over swiftly with the short rotation, the cut coming in and then Bram just being there after being bumped to recover from that one and put it into the net. 3 minutes 55 on the clock, 1-0 for Glasgow Storm. Yeah, some great communication there. And it, <laughs> as much as we were saying it's anybody's game, Glasgow Storm yet again taking that lead fairly early on. They're just getting the better challenges thus far as Bram is going to come out of the corner. Bram gets yeeted, the shot is off, it hits the crossbar. That is unfortunate for them because that was a very dangerous attack right there. But the clearance and the counter attack is on. He gets it past one, King Pace with the ground pinch. But Mesa is there to intercept again. Bram hits it against the ceiling, comes back in. Killer with the clearance. Percy's going to send it back to the center. King Pace gets a touch on it. And all three of the defenders come in outfield right there. A bit of an awkward, stiff defense from them. 
Yeah, but they make it work, and even though the dunk comes through, they're straight back into possession. So, the communications being very strong, as there's a great pass from Mesa onto Swiftly. Just can't get the shot on target, but now two, double commit coming up from Glasgow Storm. Swiftly will just use King Pace to his advantage to put that one in, and it's 1-0. Trinitas Esports Remix are not dead. That was a very, very important goal right there. They've just basically come out with a shout and they are back in this three minutes on the clock pretty much as the kickoff is underway. And Killer going up for it. Killer with the dunk. Percy's going to be there to get the save though. He pinched it against the wall. Sends it. He's unable to get the second block. It's going to hit the crossbar. Swiftly still there, but Bram wins that 50. He goes up for it, unable to connect. Killer passes it to his teammate in the middle. Comes back up. The dunk is there yet again. Is the save there. Percy able to get the clear and stop that attack in its tracks. Yeah, Trinitas Remix looking a bit more comfortable as the series goes on, as the Mesa and Swiftly try for some magic right there. Doesn't quite happen for them this time around, but they've been able to box in Glasgow Stone for a bit of time now, but not as effective because the boost, the back boost haven't been stolen, and there's a great demo coming out from Percy, allowing his teammates to get out and recoup and get some boost and maybe even some offense going as Mesa is being tasked to clear that ball misses it completely and now it's Glasgow turn to mount the pressure the pressure is on as for um Trinitas Esports remakes as Glasgow Storm hitting the attack they're coming in the touch is there against the backboard but nobody's there to get the second touch Sen back yet again Bram is gonna get a touch he controls it and tries to pass it to his teammate to no avail, the counter-attack is on, is Bram going to get it? Bram is able to reposition himself, there was not enough power, not enough boost in that engine, and that is saved, but it's coming straight back down field, and Killer with the block, Bram comes off the wall to pass back to Percy, sent back downfield, and it is just stuck in the corner, and Percy, he just steals that like taking candy from a baby. Yeah, but going back to that earlier chance, all three of Glasgow Glasgow's player over-committing a bit, and that leave, left the uh, killer with a with a huge open net, but he just couldn't make it. The shot just lacked the power in the end. That is a big sh opportunity wasted again. And now it's Glasgow Storm who are mounting the pressure. There's a miss coming up from Mesa, but the incredible save from Swiftly after the shot. Trent has Emix. The defense is ramping up yet again. And the defense is needed. So it's coming back downfield yet again for Glasgow Storm. And Trinitas Esports Remake sending it into the center, but King Pace is there to get the block. Killer is there. He gets the boost. He's working with a bit of boost. Quick to use that boost up, though, to get that. The pinch is there. It's the shot there. No, it's not because Percy's there to reposition himself and read it perfectly to get the clearance. Killer is blocking the shot with the pass to Swiftly. He tries to get it past King Pace, but King Pace, again, reading his opponent fairly well as Percy gets the demo. Bram coming off the wall. He's going for the air dribble feather in his boost with the pass to his teammate, but... Unable to connect with anything. 10 seconds on the clock. The pass is there. The shot is off. Percy slots it home. Surely, Glasgow Storm are going 3-0 up in this series. Yeah, Swiftly with the unfortunate front flip there. And then Percy getting the more getting more power from the under th underside of Killer's car. That unfortunately just accelerates the shot. Otherwise, I believe Swiftly would have been able to recover to make that happen as Glasgow Storm. Yeah, 2-1 two, two, up now with only three seconds left on the clock and the ball very much under their control. Bram is going to keep it up, gets it over one. Can he get the 3-1 for the cosmetic effect? No, he can't. It's out the box, but Killer can't keep it out. Oh, that's really unfortunate for Trinitas Remix right there. Now, the key question here. We're going into the fourth game. We're going into, you know, Glasgow Storm. They're going to have that 3-0 lead. Trinitas Esports Remix, they've been fairly good at the reverse sweep. Can they mount it? going into this next game. What are you saying, Cryolex? Oh, I mean, we see a few moments of brilliance from Trinitas. They were able to equalize, you know, beautifully in that game. They kept it solidly even. The shot count a lot better this time. They weren't absorbing as much pressure. They broke out into offense a lot better, but they're just struggling once again. You know, a bit of accuracy issues on that goal line. They just don't quite seem to be able to match the pace of Glasgow's storm. And, you know, they're just letting and batter the defense apart, find great opportunities. It's really tough to watch. Yeah, and I think what also comes down to it is that Trinitas 
hasn't been as accurate as they have been before. And there's a lot of uncharacteristic individual mistakes coming out of them. Maybe the occasion of the grand final getting to them, maybe realizing, oh sh shit, there is actually money on the line now. We have to try, maybe over trying a bit. And this is leading to them just not being as clean as they were just a few, like half an hour ago in their series against Nox Esports. Yeah, I mean, it, it, if Trinitas Esports remakes can mount any kind of comeback um, at, at this point, they're going to need to do it quickly. Uh, Glasgow Storm, they're definitely a very mechanical team. They're performing extremely well. But this is the grand final. It is anybody's, it is anybody's game. Glasgow Storm, they look in the driver's seat to take that Division 1 championship as it's underway once again. The touch comes in. Percy and Swiftly going for it. Swiftly winning that exchange in the middle. It's going to be sent downfield. Killer goes for it. Killer does get a very awkward touch. King Pace passing it to Percy. And Percy suffering the demo of Swiftly right there. And Trinitas Esports Remix, they've come out of the gate quick and strong as it's clicked. Just hit against the corner. Cleared again by Swiftly, and Mazer's there to send it straight back into the middle, but unable to get the block, and Bram with the clearance. And at the moment, Trinitas Esports Remix, the offense has been going well for them. Yeah, they definitely know that they have to make something work on offense, but they can't be double committing like that on defense. King Pat is forcing two players up, Killer just being a bit too quick with his jump off the back wall, and Percy putting it over Mazer for the 1-0 lead. Now Trinitas are forced to go even more on offense, and I don't think they are, they can't allow themselves to be baited into those double commits. They must leave their rotations clean. They must keep their comms up, because otherwise King Pace will do it to you as he gets the double commit. Bram misses, and now it's Killer. Can he take a meaningful shot? No, not quite, as Percy is able to take control and in the, into the corner. But Trinitas now trying to mount some pressure yet again. Yeah, the pressure straight back on from Trinitas Esports Remix. They're playing very aggressively. They just need to nail that rotation as Bram isn't able to nail that touch in that corner. Swiftly is going to get the interception again, sends it towards the middle, but King Pace is up very quickly to challenge it. And Percy is... Uh, not Percy, King Pace is going to take that even. And Swiftly's going to challenge once again. Bram hits it up and it just comes down. And at the moment, it just seems like, like a series of mini kickoffs. The shot is off. Percy catches that really well just to get the touch and get it out of that center for the time being. But they're trying slow, methodical play. And Trinitas Esports Remix, the pass is there. It's the shot there. The clearance is there. Bram is still there. And the counterattack is on. The shot is off. And the save is there from Swiftly. How's that not gone in there? Great adaption there from Swiftly. Initially being caught a bit too far forward, nearly overextending. But he's been able to come back, rotate, and get the bounce off the post to leave the scoreline at 1-0. Those are the opportunities that Glasgow, Storms are, Glasgow Storm are looking for right now as Swiftly with the 1v1 against Bram. But King Pace is there to make the save on the line. We see a lot of pressure from Trinitas, but the shot count doesn't show it. Only two shots amounting from that pressure so far. They, they are doing the right things, they just need to put it on target now. As there's a great passing play from Percy to Bram, who just hits the post, can King Pace dunk it in? No, he can't! Killer gets it out and Trinitas leaves another day. The saves come in clutch. Absolutely, that save was so important. The demo comes in yet again, 1-0. It's the scoreline to Glasgow Storm, 3-0 in this series. They need this game to take the title. Trinitas Esports Remix needing more than that. The shot comes in from Percy. The save is there from Mazer. Two minutes, five seconds to go. Will Trinitas Esports Remix be able to survive at this point? Who knows? As Swiftly goes for it once again, comes off the wall. Percy with the shot on target yet again, and Killer able to make the save. The whiff is there from a, from a member of both teams there. The pass is there to Swiftly. Swiftly's going to feather his boost. He's going to go for it. He's going to get the jump. He sends it. Percy is there, it bounces up. Is anybody there to get the dunk? Mazer is there to get a slight tap, but nothing particularly special from him. 1 minute 30, can Trinitas Esports Remix come back from this? I believe, I fully believe they can. They have been showing that they have the most pressure they had all series. Pretty much like two minutes of full-on pressure, but the accuracy just a bit lacking right now as Mazer puts it over the goal to Killer. Just 50s Bram, but gets beaten by Percy. 
And they have been really good at not overextending as well. The third man always staying in a position where if a counter does come in, he's able to get it. He's able to get the ball out of the danger zone really, really quickly. But equally being fast on the turnaround to get more offense going. But it just needs a bit more creativity because the backboard is being well defended at this point by Glasgow Storm. Now they need maybe a bit of physical play. Oh, Mazer just completely cutting rotation. Swiftly going for the fake instead of taking the shot. That leads to Bram safe. How did that not go in? Well, a bit of strategical play there, but it does not go in favor of Trinitas Esports Remix, which is unfortunate for them. The whiff comes in from Killer, and it's back in the center. Ends up being cleared. Mesa is there. Bram sends it downfield to his own team. It is in the area once again, but Percy's there to get the clear. 25 seconds on the clock. Is it uh, doable for Trinitas Esports Remix? It is do or die at this moment in time as Mesa. Tries to get the clay, bounces it out of the area. Bram's going to send it back towards the center. The pressure is mounting, and the shot is on. The save is there. Another shot comes in from Percy. Killer with another save. This is what Rocket League is all about. Three seconds on the clock. King Base is trying to keep hold of it. One second on the clock. It ends up in the area. Swiftly gets a touch on it, and it hits the ground. And Glasgow Storm are your ECC Season 7 Division 1 champions. Yeah. Well played for Glasgow Storm, just being that game out. Having 10 shots, I didn't register them having that much pressure at all, but they're taking a lot of long-range shots that had to be saved by Trinitas nonetheless. So I think the result overall is a bit harsh on the side of Trinitas, but a very deserved win from Glasgow Storm in the end, who are, as Mikey just said, your Division 1 champions. Kralix, is it the champions? is that a worthy performance for the champions? Definitely. I mean, they've come out and they've done exactly what we expected them to do. You know, absolute domination in that first game. I mean, credit to Trinitas. They performed brilliantly in the rest of the series after that first game. They came out, they put a good fight on, but they just weren't quite good enough to beat our Glasgow Storm in the end. And they will take a well-deserved win. Yeah, another like I, I completely agree. I think it was very harsh on Trinitas Esports Remix. They showed so much heart, so much life. Unfortunately, Glasgow Storm's ability, their performance outshone them. And it is a GG to Glasgow Storm who take that title. A massive shout out to Godlings for providing that 50 euro prize pool. And 16% of your donations will be going to them. So if you do exclamation mark, donate in the chat. You will see a link to be able to donate to Slipstream and donate to that prize pool. But it is GG's all round. There's just one more division to go, and that is the Champions Conference playoffs. And what what a season it's been so far. Division 1 champions, Glasgow Storm. Yeah, and Glasgow Storm, of course, not only taking the prize, but also promoting to Champions Division. But it's not over for Trinitas Remix. They still can make it into the Champions Division as well. They need to win their promotion match the promotion relegation match right now, which will go which will go down, I believe, sometime this week on Thursday. So we will, of course, be trying to bring you a stream for on uh, Friday. Actually, we will try to bring you a stream of that particular game as well, and hopefully, we'll see you there when both Nox Atlanta and Trinitas Esports Remix try to make it out of Division One and get into the Champions Division. But for now, this was Division 1 for Season 7. How do you think, guys? How was it? I think it was drama, drama, and more drama. You know, we saw it yesterday in, in the lower bracket. We've seen it today in the upper bracket and the lower... in the Well, in both brackets, really. It has been absolutely insane. Any last thoughts, Kralix? I mean, this has been a great season. A brilliant ending to Division one division two of course earlier was also brilliant you know we've seen ups and downs we've seen some success stories from unexpected teams and we've also seen some teams that maybe are expected to do better not do quite as well but you know at the end of it all it brings us to a close and we've just got that final champions division in a couple of weeks which will be a massive culmination to the season yeah i completely agree i think that will be the, the culmination of all of everybody's hard work coming into one, the Champions Division. But for now, 
That is it from us. Shout out to Godlings once again for providing that prize pool. And congratulations to Percy, Little Pace, and Bram of the Glasgow Storm roster, who are your ECC Season 7 Division 1 champions.